He is unlike any other Amazon I've ever met. Hello! He's my bodyguard. If we're sitting on the couch, Munchkin is on the shoulder in between my boyfriend and I. He's like, do not pass. <laughs> I'm Melanie, and this is Munchkin's story for GeoBeats. <laughs> I've been working with birds professionally since 2015, and I've had birds my entire life ever since <laughs> elementary school. Whoa! Hello! I am a professional trainer and behavioralist. I love taking on those birds that really wouldn't have a chance anywhere else. I saw Munchkin on Instagram and I was like, oh my god, this bird is absolutely perfect. I need to follow his caretaker because that's him in the background. Hello. He's saying hello pretty much in the background. No, not roll over. No, this is not, not what I said. I saw he was available for adoption and then I found out they were in San Diego, California and I am in Baltimore, Maryland. Yay, Munchkin. Yeah. They were very hesitant at first for good reason. Following months of communication, they trusted me and learned more about me. We decided that I was capable and cleared to adopt him, but it was ultimately up to him if he wanted to come with me. Because at the time, he was very antisocial. And when I went to meet him, immediately he was following me around when he was on the top of the cage. And the second day, we spent the whole day with him, and he immediately stepped up for me. Hello. Hello. Hi. Which I was shocked about, and his foster mom was a little shocked about. He sat there and started preening my face and making kissing sounds. And his foster mom is falling now. She said he's never done that before with anybody. Right then and there, we knew he wanted me. We flew him from San Diego to Baltimore. First <laughs> class, he was fed oatmeal and fruit by the stewards. Come on out. <laughs> we got home. He acted like he owned the place. Hello! Hello! He was running around and he hasn't stopped since. Launch kid. Can I have my finger back? <laughs> we don't know his age. We don't know his background. He was definitely neglected for some amount of time. He was dropped off to the Department of Animal Services. We assume that it was actually his previous owners that relinquished him and said he was a stray, so they didn't have to pay the relinquished fee. Is that good? <laughs> his upper mandible was smaller than his tongue. Hello. Hello. It's super skinny and short and it doesn't grow. And his lower mandible is actually wider and deeper than the average because it fits the tongue and the upper mandible inside. Will you stop? He has always been that way. He doesn't know life any different. Stop. He can still chew, drink, destroy toys, climb. He has his underdeveloped eyes and he has no function of it. <laughs> Hi, Munchkin. But he is like a completely normal bird. We think at one time he was loved and given affection in some way. He says, hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. <laughs> he came saying that and he has a cartoon character voice. So we think kids watching cartoons with the bird in the room would scream, Papa, and then something just strayed from that path. And that made him a little bit less trusting and a little bit more antisocial. He definitely takes a while to warm up to people. Munchkin is definitely obsessed with me and would love to be with me all the time. Hi, handsome. You're waiting for me? He is extremely <laughs> playful and he loves to roll on his back to play like a little baby bird, but he's not <laughs> a baby. He's fully <laughs> matured. He just wants to be all up in your business with you, always playing, always wanting cuddle, always wanting pets. Coming? He quite literally owns this place and he walks all over the floor. Um, I have dog ramps to furniture because I have disabled dogs as well. And he waltzes right up those little dog ramps to the furniture. Happy boy! We're completely trusting of each other. He does have vision problems, so he is definitely more cautious and more alert at all times. If I touch him, he definitely gets startled. I can talk to him and direct him to what I'm doing or what's going on in the environment. I let him interact with my two other most special needs birds. But he's much more interested in me than any other bird. He mainly just tries to like get in between the other bird and I. So he's like, uh, woohoo, hello me, remember me? You know, the love of your life. 
I definitely don't want him to get over bonded with me. So I do put boundaries in place for kind of the mental health of the relationship. It's unhealthy for birds to be over bonded to humans. I have an outdoor aviary. So when the weather is nice, they're outside pretty much all day. And I go out there and I sit with them. Hello. Hello. Rescue birds can be just as amazing. Stability doesn't define a bird. Munchkin, you and I are the same. I love him so much, and he means the world to me. Are you ready to sit with us? Okay.